Cornell. I've tried to be neighborly, tried to be friendly, tried to be cordial. And I don't know what it is that you are trying to be. Now that first night, I was appreciative. You carried my trunk up the stairs. The fact that it slipped and fell five flights and smashed to pieces was not your fault. Didn't even mind the personal message you painted on the stairs. Well, I thought it was crazy, but so, sort of sweet. However, now things have gone too far. I cannot accept gifts from a man I hardly know, especially canned goods. And I read you a little note. You can get the gist of it, even though I don't speak Italian. Mr. Cornell, this has got to stop. I can do perfectly well without you leaving little chocolate almond Hershey bars inside my mailbox. They melted yesterday, and now I got three gooey letters from home with nuts in them. And I can do without you sneaking into my room and painting my balcony without telling me about, about it. I stepped out there yesterday, and now my slippers are still glued to the floor. And I can do without you tying big bottles of Eau de Cologne to my cat's tail. Poor thing kept swishing it yesterday and nearly beat herself to death. But most of all, I can do without you watching me get on the bus every morning through that high-powered telescope of yours. You got me so nervous the other day I got on the wrong bus. In short, Mr. Cornell, and I don't want to have to say it again, leave me alone.